is my rock and that's how I roll. Welcome to another episode of California Preaching. <laughs> Here I am at Dr. Lieberman's office in New York City. I am getting my left leg checked because when I was very young, two years old, I had a lipoma fatty tumor in my leg that was so large that it was the largest tumor they ever took out of Cedar sinai Lebanon. In out of a child, it was probably not the biggest child, tumor ever. But, biggest yeah. t tumor they'd ever taken out of that hospital. And out of a two-year-old. As a two-year-old. And then, like, a few years later, it grew back. They had to take it out again. When you and were six. When I was six. And then when I was 23, Billy was there uh, when I had it removed for the third time. And, again, it's just a fatty lipoma non-malignant tumor. Thank you, Jesus. But it's big. It's like the size of a grapefruit. And so they're thinking about removing it again because it is blocking a little bit of blood flow and causing a little bit of body pain and my gait is off. And while she's doing that, I'll be enjoying my ice latte. Mm -hmm. And Billy's so sweet. He came with me. I woke up at 6.20 in the morning and I was like, he's not going to come and I'm going to go by myself to New York because I need to have my tumor checked. Did you go yesterday? Yeah. And who was with you then, too? Ah, you. And it was very sweet. And But the point is that I wrote a song on my, on my second album, Shadows and Light, with Wilson Phillips called All the Way from New York. And it was a song written to my father asking him if he would fly from New York City to California to come with me when I was having my tumor removed. And it's a really beautiful song. Would you fly all the way from New York to see me? Would you fly all the way? I didn't think so, no, but he was with me. So, looks like I'm gonna have to have surgery. You know, the thing is, is that it's grown in a different part of my leg, it's in a different location. So it's a little tricky because they're gonna have to make a new incision, which is uh, annoying, but I don't show my legs anyway because I'm at that stage of life where, you know, I just pretty much wear the sarong. She's a little dinged up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so I look at my face. You were so funny in that appointment because uh, like asking all of these questions and she literally is saying China is like the one word you could use is a dichotomy. Another word you could use is an oxymoron. The moron part. With an emphasis on the moron. You know what? <laughs> I'm only kidding. Okay. But it's like, you know, sort of opposites. And she's literally saying to the doctor, when you do the surgery, I don't want anesthesia because I don't like anesthesia. I want to be awake for the surgery. But when you do the MRI... I want to take like three like set of this like because I, I get claustrophobic and I get nervous and I don't like being there. So knock me out for the MRI, but keep me awake for the surgery when you're opening my leg up and you're taking a tumor out. I want to be able to talk to you while this is all going on. I mean, oh this guys, I always say to you, this is the world that I live in. This is what I love about you. The reason you're having uh, blockage of blood flow is because the you know the circumferential symmetrical circumference okay, those, are not, those are not words. Circumference of the tumor no. is uh, blocking the aorta of the. Uh, no, all I said is that the tumor in your leg was wrapped around your quadricep and it caused a, like almost a, 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 an abnormality in the development of your quadricep. It caused like, and uh, therefore my gait is off. And exactly, you, and you so would it affected your 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 left leg, which <laughs> affected your left hip, which could have affected your right hip because your gait is off because your quadricep is um, malformed because the tumor you had removed when you were two, when you were six, and when you were twenty three. Now you're having it out again in your fifties. So clearly, the left quadricep is is like half the size of the right quadricep. Clearly, that affected you know traverses your body. Your left quad, your right hip, it went straight to your brain, trust me. And all the way to your brain. It traversed all the way up your body to your brain, to your frontal lobe. Okay. Okay. I want him to do... Holy Spirit, activate. I'm pulling right in here. Mm -hmm. And you're just going to stay right. I'm gonna oh, block we're here? This drive. Yeah, wow, that was place. fast. So I can't make this up. We are on our way to the Westchester Hospital. Actually, maybe you can make it up. That's how badly you want to get out of this move. Okay, we're going... I to, want to move. We're going... No, you want to get out of the move, not move. Oh, you, you mean, want to get out of yeah, the, like the, the schlepping. Work, the schlep. Yeah. Okay, continue. I'm, I'm having chest pain. I'm having... You're having some discomfort. 
Okay, I'm having some minor chest pain and discomfort. A little bit of numbness on the left side. And I'm a little dizzy and my hands are clammy. So okay. we're headed to the hospital. Even breathing in hurts. It hurts to breathe. So Billy's taking a nice, relaxed Here's stroll the answers. To the, oh to my the gosh, Chai, it's so I'm so worried about you. And then there's gonna be another response that says, Drama queen, drama queen. Then the another response is going to say, "I can't believe how mean Billy is." He's like saying she's faking a heart attack so she can. Get, no, and so then she, they're going to say this she, is all for content. I think everything is true. I think there's something going on. I think she doesn't want to do the move. I think I'm an arse for saying something, and this does make good content. So you know, <laughs> you're checking all the boxes. Just in Northern Westchester with a kidney infection, literally a couple of weeks ago. Why do you always pick bad days to go? I know, all it's the doctors. A Sunday. All the doctors aren't there. We're going to be dealing with like a physician's assistant and a nurse and not a cardiologist. I really think you should speed it up. So why is my Okay, that was for content. Pain? Why am I having chest pain? She just touched pain? yourself and said, I think you ought to speed it up. I'm serious. I'm praying this is just stressor. Stressor? Yeah. Pressure and stress? Yeah. Is that like exhaustipative? <sighs> you just combine If I words? pass out on the way to the hospital, what are you going to do? You're gonna just get me there as soon as possible. Yes, we're, we're almost there, we're a couple minutes away. I'm gonna slow down a little bit, pull off to the, the shoulder, open the door and... It's a really weird the, pain. The old heave up. I mean, I've had chest pain before, never like this. So never fear, Billy is here. Yeah, what did I say this morning? I said you're Superman. You're Superman. What does that mean? I can't even turn my head to the right or the left. Are you without having a stroke pain. right now? Because you you don't say you, you didn't say you're Superman. You said you're Superman. I know. I was I was saying that on purpose. You're Superman. Okay. Oh, you're getting me worried when you say <laughs> Superman like Superman. <laughs> that pain that's going up the right side of your head. I'm like worried. What the heck that is? I don't know. All this is numb. This is numb. Numb. Hurts to lift my arm. <laughs> Just saying. Well, I can tell you. Is that I haven't been to the emergency room? What's this like your third time in six months? Yes. This is, what, would it be? Maybe. Maybe so. We've lost track. We've lost track. We've lost count. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just like trying to have some comic relief. I'm trying to have a little levity in life right now. Okay. We need life levity. <laughs> life levity. I like it. Well, we'll keep you posted. We love you. It's just never a dull moment over here at Baldwin Ranch, Baldwinsville. Don't you wish you were in Baldwinsville yes, right now? Yes, yes. If I was in Baldwinsville, I'd be watching like the fifth inning of the Yankee game <laughs> with a freaking cold beer in my hand. <laughs> we're back. Here we are. Westchester Hospital. Okay, pull up right to the front, babe. Don't this park. Is, this is the front right here. Okay. This is the emergency room. Okay. Believe me, I know. I'm an expert. Here you go, hon. Watch this. Front door. Thank you. Okay, update Billy B here at the new house. We just moved in. Beautiful nature around us everywhere. Update, China's doing great. Uh, we've been to the hospital for a kidney infection. Check. Uh, a tumor. It's not a tumor, according to Arnold. Uh, and uh, also because she was having some tightness in her chest and some pain in her chest. And they did an EKG and they did blood work and they did an, uh, an X-ray and everything's looking good. We're gonna go back into the city and see a cardiologist and she's going to um, have an MRI, which she hates. She needs one of those open ones or one of those standing ones, but everything's looking good. If I know my girl, she probably just strained a muscle do it working out or something, but she was feeling tightness and she was feeling something in her arm, so you can never mess around with that. But I keep telling her she's gonna be fine. It's all in your head. I'm only kidding. I love you, baby. Uh, and it's not a tuma. Chili bomb, firing in hot, firing in low. Right, loving the new place. I'm so sore, now I'm gonna complain. I'm so sore from moving all of these boxes. Oh yeah, yeah, up the stairs, down the stairs, down the stairs, up the stairs, never ends. All right, Chile out. Be still, my beating heart. I am feeling much better today. I still have like this tight, crampy feeling. I really think it's just stressor. Yes, hon? Are you shooting? Oh, you're shooting. I thought you were talking to somebody on the phone. <laughs> What are you doing? It's so pretty, I'm right? I'm showing them the beautiful, beautiful new little pad we have here. Here we are at our new place and we have a screened in porch. Oh my goodness. And this just looks like, um, I don't even know what to say. It's six acres of lush, beautiful 
land behind us. Bass, kitty! Come say hi to mama! <laughs> You're such a good listener. So wisdom is the mind of Christ in every situation, every single day. Sometimes that's a little more challenging than others because when you have just the avalanche of life falling on you and you are feeling like you're suffocating and not getting a break to breathe, it's, it's hard to incorporate the mind of Christ into every little detail. That is pretty much what the word asks us to do. <laughs> it's all about perspective. Think about what's going on in Maui right now. Think about what those firefighters are going through, what the people are going through. It's important to gain perspective because it's so easy to lose sight of that. Please, today, take a second out of your day just to pray for the families and the island and everybody in it. <sighs> it's heavy. I think sometimes we sort of get into this place where we just want life to be comfortable. We just want to be smooth sailing. But you know what? That's not always the healthiest thing. Honestly, I feel like sometimes we run past the tree that we're supposed to run into. Have you ever experienced that? after the fact in reflection like whoa actually it was good that that happened to me i'm here to tell you because i have firsthand experience sometimes running into the tree is the best thing that could ever happen to you because it smacks you into the reality of your life and what actually needs to be tended to where in your life are you just sort of putting on the blinders it's not always the fuzzy feels you know, it's just not. And listen, here's the amazing news. You are always going to be a sheep, even though you might feel like a pig that keeps getting thrown into the mud and tossed around, you will always emerge the sheep because the sheep will go in there and the sheep will get tossed around in the mud, but when it comes out, it is a child of God, and it is pure and as white as freshly fallen snow. That sheep is always white as freshly fallen snow, no matter how much mud gets thrown on that sheep. You are actually always going to emerge like purified gold, and you are always going to emerge like the sheep that is white as freshly fallen snow. That's a promise. I've said this before on Cal Preach that I really do believe all of us are Academy Award winning actors just running around, you know, putting on these facades and these veils that, oh, we're just so good. Everything is so fine. I'm fine. You're fine. It's all fine. <laughs> it's not fine. What are you? Are you my little Academy Award winning actor, California Preacher? He's so excited about this new place. He's very confuzzled. He's just like, wait a second, we've moved again. What woman isn't obsessed with a screened in porch? I saw the screened in porch and I was like, I'll take it, done. We have a new Cal Heel group starting called Promises and I just love the name of it because in life, you need to know the manufacturer of who made you and the promises that that maker has for you and why he put you here. Not only do you need to know the manufacturer, but you need to read the manual. So if you're Christian and you're reading the manual and you know who your manufacturer is, life is going to be a lot smoother. And let's remind each other to turn worries into prayers because worries literally are just things we can't change that we are ruminating about. But prayers are things that God can and will change if we trust him. So what's the point? It's such a waste of time to worry. And I have seen extraordinary radical miracles happen when I have the willingness to pray when I have the willingness to truly surrender and turn it over to God. One of my new favorite quotes is that uh, hope is not God's side hustle. How much do you love that? I mean, he is not hustling hope. It's a real living hope that God offers. It is not always going to turn out the way Susie, Jesse, Linda, or Carol expects it to turn out, but it's going to turn out the way God wants it to turn out if you are actually giving those things to him saying you're the boss you're in charge i don't know what's best for me but you do and i am just going to get on that hope train 
today, right now. Trust in the plan you cannot see. Oh, uh, yeah, I gotta trust in the plan I cannot see right now. On another note, Billy and I got into a bit of a scuffle yesterday. Not a physical scuffle, but a, a verbal scuffle. Anyway, Billy was like, I just want you to listen to me. I just want you to hear what I have to say first. And I was like, all right, but have you ever assumed that you think you know what's about to come out of somebody's mouth because you have known them for so long? That's what happens with me and Billy. I sometimes think, Ugh, I know exactly what he's gonna say right now. So I just cut him off, very rude. The Lord sort of put it on my heart yesterday that it would be very wise for me to be able to summarize what he's feeling. I should be able to have, you know, a little, in a nutshell, I should be able to say to him, so you're feeling like da 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 And then he can either say yes or no. At least he'll see that I was attempting to listen to him. I think that's gold because if somebody did that with me, if they just took a second to say, oh, Chai, so you're feeling da 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 I would be like, oh my gosh, that's so nice. And I would appreciate that they were listening because people so often just feel misunderstood. So if you can let them know, oh no, no, you're not misunderstood. I completely understand what you're saying. I just don't agree with you. There's power there, you know, it's okay. At least there's love there. You let them know, right? He's still so confused. You're not allowed up there. Hey, no, this is off limits. Tables are for glasses, not asses. My editor's gonna be like, that's not staying in. Depression is the past and anxiety is the future. So if you're experiencing some depression right now, ask yourself, are you allowing yourself to live a little in the past? And if you're feeling anxiety, ask yourself, am I projecting into the future? which I can't control. The only thing we can do to control the future right now is to push. Pray until something happens. Keep pushing. Ask yourself, do you honestly believe that you can depend on God? I'm asking myself that question more often. Do I actually rely on God and do I believe he's dependable? Are you clinging to people or are you clinging to God? That's a really great way to quickly assess where your relationship is at with God. When people say worship God, it just wants you to love him. It's really so simple. And even just saying, Jesus, I love you. It's such a beautiful thing to do. Have you ever done it? Jesus, I love you. That is worship. The other thing I wanted to talk about was, please do mental wellness checks on your friends. Just call them up or text them. Hey, just doing a mental wellness check. How you doing today, hon? Mental wellness checks is easy to do and people appreciate it. I can spiral without even realizing it's happening and then suddenly I'm in a bad place, but negative thoughts just don't mysteriously show up in the mind. It happens gradually when we're forgetting to pray, when we're forgetting to stay in the word, when we're forgetting to call other Christian people and have fellowship, which is why I love California healing. Please, please check out the new promises group that's launching on September 9th, you guys. It's, I really just, it's ineffable. Ineffable is a real word. I looked it up and it means indescribable. It is indescribable what these groups are doing, not only for me, but for now hundreds of people. Love to give you a free drop in. So please fill out the form, the interest form that is in my top pin comment and also in the description. I honestly just cannot believe this view. There is a God. So guys, you know what? You can't hold on to something that you're not close to. So don't just believe in God, believe God. Peace of.